it's another big game for you. Just tell me, how, you know, after that offense cut was kind of hitting a little bit of bumps in that first half, how was this offense being able to rally around in that second half to score those 35 points? Well, just believing, just knowing that, you know, that's not the top, that's not the brand of football we play. Well, we're way better than that. We got into halftime. And we talked to each other. We know we was in the first half, we were doing things, but it was just little things, getting in the red zone and fumble or just not, not executing and stuff. So we got in halftime, we talked to each other, and we know, we was we was a better team than them um, coming out of halftime. So we just execution, just executing and stuff like that. So. You know, 200 yard rush. Shing, just tell me about how you're able to get that many rushing O-line. yards. Yeah, 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 obviously the yeah, O line. Yeah, obviously the O line. Give huge props to those guys. They did a great job up front making holes for me. All I do, all I had to do was hit them and just run fast. So I, I want to give big props to them. It was all, it was all, it was all them. Yeah. O line. You know, you're able to to get over that 100 yard mark first time as a Bobcat this game. You went over the 200 mark even. Uh, tell me about what's it like running in this offense that GJ Kenny and Mac left, which have come up with. Where a lot of people think it's a big passing offense, but then we see a lot of home run hits or home runs runs by you. Uh, what's it like being a running back in this offense? Oh, just uh, the way they move the uh, the right receivers, so they. Uh Stack the right receivers all the way and outside. So it's really just one linebacker or two. I just got to make one miss. Um, it's just how they spread out the right receivers and keep them out, out wide. And I just got to make one guy miss in the linebacker spot. So um, yeah, that's what it is. And when we were talking to, to Coach Kenny and Brian Holloway, they, they were they were saying there wasn't any panic, even at halftime down yep. 17 to nothing. What was it like in that locker room at halftime with the coaches? What were they saying to y'all? Just making us uh, believe, just telling them uh, we just we really just looked this, looked ourselves in the mirror and told us that we was playing bad, we wasn't executing, we're not playing to the level of football that we play. So it was just telling us we gotta uh, just uh, lock in and just execute. Really, just do your job. It's really what Coach Kenny said was do your job. You know, the slow start, it's, it's plagued this team a few times this season, and it, it happened again in the first half this year. How do you guys combat that? How do you come out and start fast like you did last week against Jackson State? Well, can you say that again? Sorry. You guys, uh, some slow starts have, have hampered you all this season a few times against Baylor, against UTSA, and then again tonight. How do you how do you come, guys combat that and come out fast and strong and get that lead like you did against Jackson State last week? Um, Just getting that first first down. I feel like when we get that first first down and um, – when we get that first first down, it's it's, it's up for us. Um, but we just gotta we just gotta execute. Like I said, we just gotta execute and just believe and just do our job. If we do our job, we're hard to stop. Like I said, um, we just gotta go out and everybody gotta do their job. I feel like. You know, that's kind of a word that we just hear a lot about this offense. It's all, always about the execution, execution the execution. Yeah. Just what is it about executing this offense that makes everything just kind of go right? That's, that's just the, how the offense is. You know, when we when we execute, when everybody's doing their job, is uh, explosive stuff happening. Like that's that's really what it is. We we preach that. It's just execution. If some if everybody does their job, some explosives are going to happen. So, you know, this team's down three captains. You know, y'all are trailing seventeen nothing, but. What is it about this team being able to rally around each other, people stepping up where like people are yeah. not there, being able to score those 35 points and get you know one of the you know, the biggest yeah. comeback win in FBS history? Yeah, everybody trusts each other. Everybody, there's a lot of belief on this team from the coaching staff to trainers to everybody around us. It's just a lot of belief, and we believe in each other, and you know, we just never put our head down when we go into tough situations. I feel like everybody got a strong mind, and uh, we just believe. You know, this is also the best start in Texas State since uh, also 2013. Just uh, what is it going to take to continue this momentum y'all brought up for this program and continue it into conference play? Just not getting complacent. Just just keep going and uh, don't get level-headed. Just keep going. Move on from this week and get ready for uh, Sunday Miss and conference play and stuff like that. We just got to keep pushing forward and not getting complacent. Just keep going. So. My last one's easy. What's your necklace? Uh, this is my mom. Uh, she passed away uh, my junior year, so I always keep her with me. So, That's Do you wear it during the game? During the game, yep. Mm. Yes, sir. So she was with you tonight, huh? Yeah, she was with me tonight, smiling. Right. So, <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah.